Doop -be -doop -be -be. All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Rumble Roses. Um, I want to try to finish it in one video, so I shouldn't talk too much, but I do have to explain something very important. Candy Cane is out to save the orphanage where she grew up, uh, in the hopes that when it's all over, she could become, uh, you know, she being one of the three beautiful daughters of the one who runs the orphanage, uh, even though Candy Cane doesn't know that because she thinks she's an orphan. Um, Candy Cane clearly will marry one of the three stooges when they've saved the orphanage, and it's probably going to be Larry, if only because Larry's helping her out here in this match. Candy Cane's got a tough opponent in anesthesia, but what you don't know about Candy Cane, folks, is that she goes into an insane, furious rage when she hears the song Pop Goes the Weasel. Now, Larry has brought a radio with him. Well, no, sorry, he brought a fiddle, but he's broken it. He's rushing to get here. God only knows if he'll be able to make it in time. Uh, you know, because he is, of course, suffering the effects of massive hallucinations taken, you know, caused by the drugs that he took, which are making purple energy waves fall out of his head. I'm referring to Boba the Vulture's Let's Play of the Three Stooges, which you should totally check out. Uh, but right now, you're checking out Rumble Roses, and you're probably waiting for me to get on with it. So without further uh, nonsense from me, let's get on with it. Nobody messes with the orphans! You're one of those warriors, aren't you? You messed up my gremlin, and you're gonna pay! I don't think, uh, we've recorded that video, uh, Bobo and I, but I don't think it, it'll actually be posted by the time this is, so... Enjoy being confused, folks. Lord knows I've had plenty of that in my time. Wow, that was a really sweet-looking aerial move that is ridiculous she landed on her feet afterwards. Oh, why not cheat? I'll use every dirty trick I know, including ones that make no sense! I get deadly submissions on the outside. <laughs> she is a heel, folks. Uh, I don't think I made that clear. She is the first heel character that I've played as. She is one of the small group of characters whose default character starts out as a heel, and you actually unlock a face version, which, you know, if you're not some kind of uh, wrestling smart, you know, fan who tells yourself that it's okay to watch something as silly as wrestling because you know it's not real. Um, and you know all the cool terminology and stuff. What I'm basically saying here is that um, Candy Cane starts out in her quote bad, evil, rule breaker form and you have to unlock a form of her that isn't like that. Whereas with mo most of the characters you start out with the uh, evil form. Now, I did damage her legs a little with a figure four out there, so this might finish it. And if it doesn't, it should earn me another one. Yeah, no problem. Anesthesia, you're easy. Well, I appreciate it, Larry, but it turns out I didn't need Pop Goes the Weasel to win this one. Why couldn't Curly just hum Pop Goes the Weasel to himself? I mean, I think that Three Stooges Stuart wasn't entirely logical. Little brat. Anastasia's constantly kicking people from behind. Do not dare lay one finger on her. Teach? Miss Welsh, all of my students are special to me. And that includes you. You taught me the joys of wearing incredibly Spencer, short microskirts. I... Fight to your highest ability. Then come back to school when you are done. Anastasia, you're not attacking. Miss Why? Spencer, enough! It's time to change the channel on this lame soap opera. She has a point. Lady X! <laughs> Lady X! That's basically her catchphrase. Is Lady X and... <laughs> and of course... Doo, 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 doo. It's nice how Candy Cane's looking completely devastated and ready to be taken out by Anastasia, even though Anastasia didn't, like, hit me, like, at all, really, in that fight. Igle, for some reason, was really tough, but... Alright, Larry, you want to come over here with the Pop Goes the Weasel any time now? Larry, sweetie! <laughs> I'd never thought of this before, but I'm now really enamored with the idea that Candy Cane <laughs> will get married to Larry Fine after the Three Stooges help her save the orphanage. <laughs> and then they can all meet Hercules! It'll be great! That's the sound that the robot's making. It's, uh, circuits are going to... Wow, 
Well, Lady X, you want to, like, at least try to put up a fight here? It'd be pretty sweet if I scored my first perfect against a version of Lady X. Oh, there. I got punched once. It's all over. My perfect is history. Darn it, Lady X, you ruined everything. And as a result, I'm going to beat you, which I was going to do anyway. And I'm going to blow my finisher. Which probably would have killed any chance, I, even if I had still had a perfect at this point. That was going to be it for that, too. Lady X, you just made me look bad, and I don't like that. That never would have happened if Pop Goes Weasel was playing. Larry, I'm taking this out on you later. You know, I don't know what Larry looked like in his younger years, but, um... And, you know, bearing in mind that Candy Cane is a fictional fetish archetype rendered in pixels, but I still think that Candy Cane might be a little bit out of Larry Fine's league. This voice has become the silliest Let's Play ever. Now loading me. Thanks for the help, Miss Spencer. You know, watching and not helping so much with the killer robot. I wish somebody had explained what was going on with this thing. Like Dixie, she too has sort of pieced together what's happening based on information that wouldn't have allowed me to piece it together, folks. Were I in her shoes, or should I say, knee-high, high-heeled boots. Which go really nice with this. I think the, the boots are probably covering more of her body than, you know, any of her other clothes are. Okay. I'm getting the hell out of here. And throwing my hair back sexily. To try to make up for not being able to spin my arms around and catch fire and stuff. That's not what I meant to do, but it's still working out okay. No, it's not. Best not to take too many chances against Lady X. Ow! Crap. Ow! That was interesting. And she just threw me back in the... This isn't really fair. You know, Lady X is a big old robo-butt. Come on, Lady X. You know you want some. Ow. Stop throwing me back into the ring. How am I ever going to use cheating moves against you at this rate? This is... Wow, this is... I don't think I've ever actually lost a Lady X substance on camera, but it's totally about to happen. I haven't lost yet, Lady. I'm not about to start losing to a superhuman cyborg that's capable of destroying entire armies. You know, apparently. I mean, that, that seems to be what uh, anesthesia has in mind. All I've got to do is hold out until Pop Goes the Weasel starts playing. This is like... Oh, jeez. I thought I was going to be able to win with my incredibly dicky technique of just tripping her from outside of the ring. <laughs> no, she's gone into super crazy spinny mode. And who knows when she's going to stop. Please stop doing that, Lady X. Thank you for doing that. That was really stupid. Damn it, Lady X. Let me do a f submission move on you. It's cheap and effective, and I want to do it. Oh, I don't think this one counts, because I don't think it has a little timed meter. I want a different f submission move. Here we are. This is more like it. Woo! Extreme replay for the fully outside! Woo! Now it's time for Extreme Iron Sheik, who's gonna get extremely countered when he's trying to do a camel clutch.
She has incredible cybernetic powers to counter everything. Incredible cybernetic powers to annoy. So, what stupid nonsensical connection am I going to make to Candy K next? I've done the Blues Brothers. I've done the Three Stooges. Perhaps, uh, something about Oliver? Do you suppose that as a small child she once went up to a, uh, incredibly English-looking dude and said, Please, sir, can I have some more? Speaking, of course, about Christmas, candy canes, which are her favorite toy, and that's the reason she got her nickname. Nothing, you know, sick or perverted about it. Darn it. Okay, it's just going to be a matter of who hits their finishers first, because we're both going to be completely dead when we get back in the ring. Thanks to the magic of finishers doing ludicrous damage. Or submission. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you're getting to see Lady X's full move set here. It was important that I get her head really damaged because I think that's what this hurts. So let's see what happens now. I'll tell you what's going to happen. A school driver and a victory. I sure hope the ending scene isn't that long because uh, I think I just finished this off in four videos. And Larry bursts in just a little too late with a radio playing the song. But Mo pats him on his bald spot anyway. Yeah, I did it, Miss Spencer. I got a shorter skirt than you. Excellent job. I knew you could do it. Now learn basic math it and you'll be all to set. Back to your studies. You have catching up to do. Um yeah, about that. I've taken up whoring. I made some friends and I'm into wrestling now. Well, that is wonderful. So I'm going to be a wrestler. That you can that means schools out. It's illegal for people who know how to do things to wrestle. She has boobs. It's important for you to realize that. Okay, folks, so let's uh, recap Candy Cane's story. She decided she wanted to save an orphanage. And uh, she joined a tournament, and she won, and presumably saved the orphanage, although she never mentions it again uh, after that first sequence. I guess she mentioned it to Lady S Miss Spencer. Lady X, whatever. <laughs> Lady Spencer. Um... And she's decided that she doesn't want to go to school because, you know, she's uh, a kid and pretty much all kids don't want to go to school. And uh, she wants to have some fun. And uh, she mentioned something in her lyrics about Joe not being here, so I don't know. I think it's just as well that she didn't break a guitar before every match because that would have gotten old. But what didn't get old was the school driver, which is pretty much the sickest looking finisher in this game, even if it is easy, as I showed you several times, to completely blow. But, um, wow. Okay, now I can start listening to uh, Yankee Rose. I might just have to cut this one off before the credits are over, because do we really need to see the credits every time? Let me roll up onto the sidewalk and be a creep, yeah? <laughs> I'm trying to delete through the road. Uh, I'm okay, and I'm having a good time. Once again, folks, um... <laughs> <laughs> this will make sense. Several Warriors videos from now, if I post this thing uh, before I get around to posting those. Oh, but we're gonna run out of time, I think, before the credits are over. So you know, we might as well get the full 15 minutes. Give as many of these folks, like the great Ricky, uh, as credit as we can. Uh, I'd like to thank whoever it was who requested that I play as Candy Cane. Um, they didn't use a uh, complete. They uh, well. They they didn't capitalize any words. That's one of my pet peeves. But, hey, you know, they commented. They made a request. I've asked people to make requests. So, you know, good for them. Uh, I'd like to thank the Killer Barbies for their incredibly... Um, sounded very much like uh, Japanese people trying to sound American. Although the credits don't really back me up on that. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, folks. And um, when we come back, I'll be playing as somebody else. I think I know who. But you can throw out a suggestion if you want. Either way, thanks for watching. Mysterious JG here ending this video.